Hey guys, this is Travis with Equator Bushcraft coming at you with another gear review today. And as you can see, there's lots of bags on this table. Uh, shoulder bags have become very popular for EDC bags. And as you can see, uh, I have a lot of the popular brands on the table here. And I have finally, after many years, uh, come to one of my favorites that I've just found recently and I want to share that with you guys but I'll just start really quick this isn't a review of all of these bags I just wanted to give you a size comparison of these bags with the one that I've recently found <clears throat> and just so you can maybe see them on me and I'll just show you each one of them on me and then we can get to the one that I've recently found that I've really come to enjoy but on the on your left here <clears throat> we have the UTG uh, tactical messenger bag it's called and this is my dad's and this is what he carries and and for the price it is an absolutely great deal um, it's it's around 500 cubic inches I'll show you that on me in a second <clears throat> this one right here is the 511 rush Moab 6 this thing's a little bit bigger <clears throat> excuse me running at about 650 cubic inches this is the hazard 4 uh, Watson and this this is a very nice bag this is running about 770 cubic inches this is my wife's 511 uh, push pack I have another review on that that's mine and what all I carried in it and that's the bag I carried for years but this is also a little bit smaller running about 450 cubic inches and then on the very end here we have the Maxpedition Jumbo EDC and that's also running about 500 cubic inches so what I'll do guys is I'm going to show each one of these bags on me and just let you see how they carry and what they look like and then we'll move on from there. So guys this is the UTG tactical messenger bag and I just want you to see what this looks like. You can carry it here on your hip. It's pretty much where it's designed to carry. You can sling it around here and carry it if you need to. See what that looks like. So once again, you can sling it around here. You need to get to it. Typically, you carry it on your hip. This is the UTG Tactical Messenger Bag. Okay, guys, this is the Rush uh, Moab 6. That's what it looks like. There's another review that I've done on this bag. You can check that out. But This is what it looks like on you. It's not designed, per se, to carry in front of you. You can. If you're in a car or something, you can carry it like this. It's meant to carry on your back. If you guys want to know more about that bag, you can check it out on our other review. This is the 511 Push Pack. This is my wife's Push Pack, and it's set up just how she carries it. You can carry it just like the UTG. You can carry it in front carry it on the back. It's not designed to carry on the back, but you can if you like. It's not near as comfortable as just carrying it right here. So this is the Maxpedition Jumbo EDC. It's also just like the 511 and the, and the UTG. It's designed to carry right here, uh, left or right. This is not an S-type. I carry everything on my left side. So this bag the normal one and it's meant to carry on the right side so as you guys can see you can swing it around once again it's just not as comfortable so that's the Maxpedition Jumbo EDC so guys moving on to the bag that I have found that I really enjoy I, I think it's one of the the best EDC carry bags sling bags for me that I have found I've been wearing this bag about six weeks now and I found that it's just fantastic it suits all my needs it's perfect I, I was carrying the 511 push pack for years and it was just becoming uncomfortable to wear and uh, just wasn't big enough for what I was needing so this is the hazard 4 Watson this is just a fantastic bag sits very nicely on the back unlike the Moab 6 it doesn't sit very well strap is just fantastic. I'm going to get up here where you guys can see the strap. The strap is just nice and big and just, I, I mean, it's comfortable. I've worn it. It sits well on the back. You can slide it around. You can carry it in the car in your lap. 
it's meant to be worn on the left or right, and, and I've got it set up obviously on the left now in order to change it. There's just a strap I'll show you guys in a minute. But also this bag has a another buckle here. Keeps it from swinging around. And it's just a fantastic bag. I've got it loaded with what I carry right now. And it's just one of the most comfortable bags that I have ever put on for a shoulder bag. So I want to dig into this bag and show you guys what's inside of it and the pockets and different so things. So guys, I want to just show you a little bit about this bag and what I've come to love about it. It's, it's just a fantastic bag. Um, I've carrying the same stuff and a little more actually that I was carrying in the 511 push pack because I have a little more space. I don't always use that space, just that way if I need more space, if I need to carry something else, I can. I went on a trip the other day, and I've got a, a few extra things in here that I don't normally carry every day. But just to start on the outside, as you can see, Hazard 4, I've never had a Hazard 4 bag, but I'm very impressed. I, I would buy from them uh, again in a heartbeat. On the outside, you've got your hook and loop, you've got your, uh, your Molly attachment points, You've got a very nice strap here on the bottom. I mean, this is just awesome. It's huge, very nice. You can cinch it down if you need to. You can put a you could put a sleeping bag on this thing if you wanted to. It's got a grab handle here on the bottom, very well stitched. It's just a great bag. I mean, raincoat, whatever you wanted to put on the bottom if you needed to there. It's also got the drain holes in the front pocket here. It does not have drain holes on the, the two side pouches for some reason. That would have been a nice thing. Um, it's got this cinch strap on the back here. If you need to cinch it down closer to your back or loosen it, it can ride a little looser or tighten it down. It pulls it up against your back. That's a nice feature that most shoulder bags that I found do not have. you got your, your carry handle up top, which says it'll carry 200 pounds, so I guess you could carry somebody on this if you wanted to. You also got the big D-ring. Uh, D it's plastic. It's not metal, but that's nice if you want to put something on. And then you have a very nice, you can undo that, and you have a very nice back pocket. And it's got this rubber on it. I guess that helps moisture or water not to get in the bag. And what this is is an iPad pocket in the back or a, a MacBook 13-inch uh, computer will fit in here. Opens all the way up and just lays down. And inside this, it's got some of the nicest padding that I have ever seen in a bag. I mean, this is just incredible soft padding. And just like my other bag, the 511 Push Pack, what I carry in here is the same that I carried in that back pocket, but it fits a lot nicer. I have a compass. I have my Equinox tarp shelter. I have some maps of the area that I'm at and some ranger beads. But this is what this back pocket looks like. Opens all the way up nicely. Just a beautiful, beautiful bag. All of it fits in there nicely, no problem. So also guys, you on the back here, you have this nice, it's kind of a hard molded uh, plastic spongy th uh, in the back here. It's not hard, I shouldn't have said hard, it's actually very nice against your back, even with stuff in that pocket, it doesn't protrude out into your back, it's just very comfortable. You got the vents here that allow for, for airflow. And this strap comes all the way down. It's just a wonderful strap. You guys can get in here and, and see this strap. It's like a three inch wide strap. It's very, very nice. It's got Molly on the strap. Got your Hazard 4 logo, Velcro. If you wanted, you could put a water bladder, a small one in this and run it out. There is no port for that to come out. A nice, nice, nice buckle here. So when you're wearing it, it's on the front of you and you can quickly get out of it if you need to. You just push, push up and pop down.
In Hazard 4, they actually have a little lock here. Push that down and it won't come off. Push it up. It's actually written lock, unlock. And it comes out and you're out of it. Very, very nice strap. One of the most comfortable I've ever put on. Moving on to the side, guys. On the outside, you have these two pockets on the outside. It's the same on both sides. That Velcro. They're pretty nice pockets, as you can see. I've got a, a bandage in here that I leave on the outside in case I need to access it quickly. The pockets on the outside are very nice. I just got some first aid stuff in here, some gauze, some band-aids, a pill box full of uh, meds in case I need them. But the pockets are awesome. And just so you know, on this side I carry my water bottle in here. And this is a 27 ounce clean canteen and a 450 milliliter uh, Tokes titanium cup. And that, that is a tall bottle and it fits right in there no problem. That's what I carry. Also, Dave Canterbury's Pathfinder bottle set fits in there even nicer than the 27 ounce clean canteen, no problem. Fits in there nicely. You could actually even put something else in there with it if you wanted to. So moving on to the front pocket. I'll try to make this video as short and simple as we can here. This front pocket is what I love about this bag is everything opens all the way down. So when you open it, it's, it's not you're just stuffing stuff in. You can actually get to your stuff and organize it pretty well. So this opens all the way in. If you lay it down, it will fold all the way back if you need it to. It's very nice. But in this front pocket, it has a little elastic pocket here in the front that hangs on the front flap. You've got a keeper or a little plastic D-ring here. You could hang keys or something if you needed to. And inside this, I've just got a headlight. Some of the stuff that you can access quickly, a headlight. I have a bandana in here, some hand sanitizer, um, some 550 rope, some cordage, and also I have my Sawyer um, Mini in here, my water purifier and water uh, filter. So I'll keep that in there. I have some duct tape, beef jerky, a little write in the rain notebook. So all that. All of that fits in that front little elastic pocket. And then moving on into the bigger pocket, I have a lot more cordage. But I also have my sat phone here. And this is a cool little pocket. You can put stuff in here. And this pocket comes out on both sides. And you could actually, if, if it won't fit my sat phone, but an iPod, a, a phone, you could fit that in there and it would be secured nicely in there but I just keep my sat phone here it's still convenient easy to get to sat phone slides right in doesn't move up here you got some little organization pockets uh, you got some pen holders a little wider pocket you could put a, a tool in if you wanted to a multi-tool I got a pen I have a little pen light and these are double A batteries I can fit two double A batteries in one of those pen holes and then on this side, I've got two AAA batteries. I got a lighter and some tinder in this little pocket with a ferro rod. Always have a ferro rod. And then on this side, I have some crazy glue and a bunch of, of bank line in this pocket. Always good to have cordage. So that pretty much covers that front pocket. It's very simple, very easy, nice and roomy. And then we move to the inside compartment which once again does the same thing actually goes all the way down and even turns the bottom turns the bottom so that this can flap open completely okay and inside this bag inside this pocket you have another zippered pocket in the front of it here and I've got some wipes some clean wipes I have the extra battery to charge my phones and cables and stuff in there. That's a nice little pocket, nice size. 
put whatever you wanted to, more candy bars or something in there. And then that folds completely out. And I told you we went on a trip the other day. I typically don't have this big raincoat in here, but this is a frog tog raincoat that I carried in here. And I carried a mountain house meal just in case. Typically, I do not carry that stuff in this bag. But what I do have in this bag normally is just like this. I have my Shema in here. And I have some work gloves in case I need to deal with some briars or something like that. And then in this back pocket, it's got another elastic pocket in the back. I carry my SC4 in the back of that. And I carry a GPS. Also have a water bladder bag. This is a platypus bag that the Sawyer uh, Mini fits right on. And I have my Lansky sharpening stone. Tactical sharpening stone. But that pretty much covers this bag. You can also uh, get a divider. This is, this is kind of some felty stuff inside here. And you can get a divider I've seen and put a divider in here and it sticks right in and you could carry it as a camera bag or whatever you wanted to. But this bag is just a fantastic bag. The build quality on it is incredible. I, I never knew who Hazard 4 was and I would definitely buy from them. The zippers are fantastic. They come with the little pulls. They're YKK zippers. You can lock them. Got the little holes where you can put a little lock on your zippers in the front pouch. And, and this bag is just fantastic. I, I love this bag. It's so comfortable. Uh, I would highly recommend this to anybody looking for an EDC bag, a great EDC bag where you need to carry a little bit more. Uh, if you don't need to carry a ton, then maybe it's not for you. Maybe it is. You can never have too much space. But this bag is just built awesome. Hazard 4 has done a wonderful job. It's called the Hazard 4 Evac Watson is what it's called. You can go on their website and look it up and all that. It's running about $105 on Amazon. Once again, just a great bag for the price. Very comfortable. I would highly recommend it, guys. So, guys, this has been the review of the Hazard 4 Watson. I, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope it's been educational for you to see the different bags and, and to get a new bag maybe in your lineup of, of thinking. Uh, even myself, as I was trying to find more information about this bag, it was very difficult to find information. I'm not sure why it's so hard to find because it's such a wonderful bag. But there was only one guy who's done a review on YouTube about it. He did a good review, but it was, wasn't set up for the things that a lot of us like to, to carry and different things. And So I took a chance, but I'm glad I did. Uh, I think you would be glad as well if you wanted to purchase this bag. Uh, it's been just a fantastic bag so far. I, I look forward to continue using it. So once again, guys, if you have any questions or any thoughts or comments, uh, anything like that, just comment in the link below or in the comments below, and I'll try to answer your questions as quickly as possible. And remember, guys, practice for the crisis so that in the crisis it's just like practice.